Great to be back. Um, you know, we had a very productive uh, extended spring training. Um, got some uh, good, excited, excitable players coming in with the draft picks that are are uh, getting signed and uh, released to, to, to activity. It's uh, going to be interesting to see uh, how uh, they adapt from the college game to uh, pro ball here. But uh, I'm excited about what we've got coming in. You know, what have you uh, seen or not seen because you just got here, but heard about Tate Matheny so far? Well, it's just you know, you hear things. Uh, the reports are he's very, uh, uh, very athletic. Uh, it's going to give you a, a good battle uh, offensively and defensively. Played the game really hard. Uh, you know, I, I know his dad really well, so I expect a lot of a player, the uh, type of player that his dad was. You know, he's going to instill the same type of character um, that he had in himself. And uh, you know, being around it for for his whole life, uh, you're going to have a lot of. Uh, uh, absorption of, of being a professional and that's completely what I expect from him. His dad, you say you know his dad well? Uh, well, you know, I, when I was in Milwaukee one year, he was a young, oh, young okay. player coming <laughs> up, so I don't want, really want to refer to him as my backup, but, uh, you know, he was a young AAA guy who came up and, and uh, uh, you know, I'm excited about having uh, Tate here. I, I think the last time I saw him, he was uh, in his mom's arms. So. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. Um, just having someone like Danny Rosenbaum around, how important will that be for the, just the newer guys coming up who've never done this before? Well, anytime you have a guy that's on rehab who's got some uh, double A, triple A experience, it's it's going to rub off on the on the players. It gives them an idea of what a, a higher level player does uh, and his work ethic, and and uh, you, you get to be able to see the guy firsthand and not just hear about it. You get to see about what he does in his routine and prepare for. Uh, uh, his start and also uh, what he does the other four days in between. Another player with good bloodlines is, is Cosart. You know, what have you heard about him or what have you seen from him? He's been around for a while, so maybe you've seen more. Of him. Right, he was a draft pick with us last year. I uh, got to see him in Instructional League uh, <clears throat> and got to see him uh, quite a bit down there and extended. So uh, you're talking about a kid who, who uh, if he throws strikes and he gets his curveball over, he's going to be an exciting pitcher to watch on the mound. Uh, and it's it's typical of any young pitcher. As long as they can command the strike zone, they're going to have a, a good chance of uh, giving the ball club a chance to win. So uh, he competes out there, and uh, you know I think he's going to give us a, a really good opportunity to win a bunch of ball games. He's so new to pitching. You know, is he matured well just within this last year or so of being a pitcher? Well, you know, any any time you take an outfielder or an infielder and convert them, uh, you kind of put your foot on the accelerator and kind of push push a little bit but he's uh, he's got a, a gifted arm and uh, you know, he's able to do some things that a lot of conversion players have not been able to do so uh, he's got a plus curveball that's uh, is going to be a big equalizer for him. Just an overall scene of being back here in Lowell what's it like just to come back for another season familiarity and stuff like that? Yeah it's it's definitely a, a comfort zone I know what to expect um, you know, first time coming in last year, I was really feeling my way around. I started feeling comfortable probably the second half of the of the season, but now having a full uh, year underneath my belt, I'm able to uh, come to the ballpark, know what, uh, know you guys, uh, know the whole situation and what to expect here, and and it's definitely a comfort zone. How exciting is it for you to have um, all the draft guys here at once? Maybe when last year they were sort of coming in. Did they all show up? Yeah, <laughs> they did. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I think we still got two or three guys. Well, uh, just to have a nice group of them together at the first, whereas last year they weren't. Well, I, I think we're we've kind of accelerated the clearance process also. Right. So that uh, last year was really uh, frustrating. I know for a lot of the players and also the coaching staff that we couldn't get guys on the field quick right. enough. But uh, uh, you know. The draft was a, a, a week earlier this year. The season was a week later. It, it helped with the time frame. Um, and we were able to do a little bit more homework on uh, um, the guys that are coming this way and have a better idea. So um, once these guys are cleared, you're going to see a lot of them in the lineup pretty quick. How exciting is it for you to have them here just to work with them right from the start? Well, you get a guy right out of the draft, it's really exciting. I mean, you know, you, you get to teach them. Uh, the, the, the first steps of being a professional and um, you know that's why I'm here that's why Lance is here and, and Iggy's here with the experience we're able to pass on to these guys and teach them the proper way to go about their business Thanks, sir. all right no problem hey like coaching with Lance being being that he's new yeah Lance, Lance brings a lot to the table he's a uh, experienced big league pitcher um, he's an experienced uh, 
uh, pitching coach, and he can give us the professional out, uh, out, outlook on it and also the collegiate outlook on it. So he's been able to help me understand maybe the process of guys coming from the college ranks uh, to pro ball. So it's been a good transition.